Hey hey hey, Alias here and this is another short tutorial for beginners. This time is about uh, testing and running uh, my scripts. When it comes to single player missions, uh, things are pretty simple. In some cases you can even run the script uh, from triggers, though I wouldn't uh, recommend it. The safest and the simpler uh, way is to run my scripts from init sqf file. To test the script for single player mode, you just click the play scenario while you are in the editor. Or you can save the scenario first by going to scenario, export, export to single player. Then you go back to the main menu and play the mission going to single player, scenarios and from here you select the mission you want to test and uh, hit play. Then continue. When you make a multiplayer mission, either you want to host it on your own computer or you'll uh, play it on a dedicated server, it's better to use Arma server to test it. The simpler way to configure and run a uh, dedicated server on your uh, own computer is by using a very nice uh, application made by uh, Tofi. With uh, this occasion I want to thank uh, Tofi again for his uh, awesome work and making our life uh, much easier. So if you have the chance guys, please support his work in any way you can. You can find the download the link for this application and a video tutorial in the description uh, down below. First we need to export the mission as a multiplayer mission. Then we go back in Windows and start the server. To not prolong this video more than uh, necessary, I will skip the part with the installing and setting up uh, tabs. You can see that in the video tutorial I linked. So I will uh, just uh, start the server and when the server is running, I go back in Arma. Here I go to the multiplayer tab and server browser. Then I will uh, select the LAN tab and look uh, for the name of uh, my server. In my case is Gigi or Gigi or Guy Guy or however you want to call it. Click on it, then press uh, join. In the mission list, look for the mission you want to test, click on it and press vote. Here in the lobby take a seat and press OK. The mission will load and few seconds later you'll see the briefing screen where you click continue. Once the mission started, if you don't see an error message, uh, it's a very good sign. But uh, that doesn't mean necessarily that the script or mission is working well. You have to actually trigger the script or the events uh, you want to test. The faster way of uh, doing that is by making use of the debug uh, console. The use of console can help you in many, many ways. Uh, from uh, declaring uh, variables, changing uh, objects, uh, attributes, position. I'll uh, give you a quick example. Uh, let's say that in order to see if the script works, I need to go to the other side of the map. Using the console, I can go there very fast. To access the console, press escape. And now it's like I'm using the camera. I use the arrow keys uh, to navigate. When you reach the position, uh, point the crosshair to the ground and press uh, space on your uh, keyboard. Now we're going to test uh, this object I made uh, radioactive. And looks like the script is working on uh, dedicated. As I said, the debug console is very useful to test uh, missions or to run commands and scripts as admin on the fly while the mission is running. Just uh, make sure to make the console available only for admins and you can do that by going to your uh, description file. And here you need this uh, line with enable debug console set to 1. 
other values uh, this uh, parameter can take are uh, two which I uh, usually use when testing mission on dedicated or zero when you want to deny cancel access to all players uh, connected to the server. Now to run my scripts using the console, just uh, paste the line here in the main field, then press uh, global exec. This is how you run the script uh, on the fly, by hand, while the mission is running and the other players are playing, or when you test the mission alone on dedicated. However, in order to do this, you still need the script files and folders under uh, your mission folder, like you would if you run the script from any test file or another script. If you get an error script related while you trying to run it, either the script is broken, either you missed something, a file, a definition line in your description, an object or a marker used by you in the script's parameters. Diagnosing an error from a script or mission is a very very long discussion and a complex topic. If in the future I'll find ways to break this subject in small manageable chunks, I'll do some more video tutorials about this. Otherwise, if you want to go deeper in scripting, search for answers on Armaholic forums, YouTube or Biz forums. Most of the time you'll find the solution for your uh, problem. I will take advantage and make a quick uh, recommendation uh, here. When you report a problem or you ask for a solution in general, doesn't matter if you report it to me or another scripter or editor or a group of people, it's not enough to say your mission doesn't work or your script is bugged. If you really want uh, help, you have to provide more information, like uh, the terrain or the modes uh, you use, how you run the script or the mission, if you tried it on dedicated, hosted or single player. Also a screenshot with the error you got helps to obtain a fast and more accurate uh, answer. I hope this uh, short tutorial brought some light and uh, gives you a good starting point in uh, script testing and uh, usage. As usual, if you have uh, questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments. Until next time, have fun and uh, happy editing! <laughs>